Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Love Island The Game 2, X in the Villa. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam. If you're new here, my name is Leia and welcome to my channel. So, we have two winners. Yes, we got two winners. Fallen Angel Cody is the second winner. And Scooby, Scooby-Fied75 is the first winner. So yeah, Scooby-Fied75, winner number one. And Fallen Angel Cody, winner number two. I appreciate you guys for participating. And can't wait for you guys to receive these gift cards. All right. So <laughs> previously on episode 29, we left off with the whole stick or switch recoupling. Casa Amor is no more. The boys are coming back to the villa. Um, Dana decided to couple up with Gabby. Eddie came back alone. Arlo decided to couple up with Pete. And Suresh came back with Lulu. So we left off with it being my turn to either pick Alfie or choose someone else and go with Nicholas. Now, also in the comments, there was a spoiler alert, <laughs> which is fine, but you, you helped me with my decision. You basically gave me some clarity, so thank you. So yeah, let's just jump right on into it and get this recoupling over with and find out what happens after. So yeah. Love Island the Game 2, X in the Villa, episode 30. Let's go. All right, episode 30. Stick or twist? Who remained loyal in Casa Amor and who will be sent packing? Welcome back to Love Island, where the return of our Casa Amor boys continues. And so far, it's been a bit more twist and shout than stick or twist. Dana coupled up with kindred spirit Gabby and Arlo coupled up with not so perfect Pete. They not for real, right? Like. Leaving Eddie to fend for himself while Suresh rocked the boat with all new luscious Lulu. Let's see if things get a bit more sticky as we return to find out Jasmine's decision. Will she stick with Alfie or have the new boys turned her head enough for a full-on twist? All eyes are on you as you weigh up your stick or twist decision in pin drop silence. Will you stick with Alfie or make a fresh start with one of the new boys? Oh, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, Jasmine, what will it be? All right, all right, let the girl think, will you? You take a deep breath, considering your options, looking over Nicholas and Johnny. All right, that's enough time, out with it. You sticking or twisting? So, I am going to twist with a new boy. I'm gonna twist. Yes, get in. I knew it. Suresh moves even closer to Lulu, trying his best not to react. Me and Alfie have been through so many ups and downs. But for now, I think what I need is a fresh start in here, something new. Nicholas slaps Johnny hard on the back with glee. Johnny winces and rubs his tender skin. You made a wise choice, Jasmine. Yeah, just one more wise choice to go, if you know what I mean. Nicholas gestures to himself with a wink. I'm sure Jasmine can make the decision for herself, Nicholas. You hear a ping from your phone. Jasmine, you've got a text. Read it out. Jasmine, it is now up to you to couple up with a new boy. Who will it be, Johnny or Nicholas? Whoever isn't chosen will be dumped from the villa. Hashtag Jasmine's choice. Hashtag now that's what I call a twist. Wait, what? What happened to Kat? Kat didn't even choose yet. You look up at the new boys. 
Nicholas puffs out his chest, tensing his arms. Johnny holds your eye contact. So, who's it gonna be? Nicholas, of course. I choose Nicholas. New couple, Jasmine and Nicholas. Pumped to get to know you more, Jasmine. Nicholas places a hand on Johnny's shoulder. No hard feelings, pal. Don't take it personally. No, that's okay. I guess you're right. Nicholas saunters over to you and gives you a bear hug. He lifts you in the air and spins you around before kissing you on the cheek. You made a wise choice. I'm a gift that keeps on giving. I certainly hope so. You steady your nerves as Alfie approaches the villa once again. Look, Alfie's coming. Alfie strides into the villa. He looks confident, relaxed, and self-assured. And he's alone. Alfie sees you standing in your new couple. Gasps all around from other islanders. Kat and Arlo delight in the drama, but Alfie remains calm and at ease. Alfie, you know I had to. Before you can finish your sentence, a collective gasp from the islanders interrupts you. Mira walks out and joins Alfie, taking his hand. No, they did not bring Mira back. That's crazy. New couple, Alfie and Mira. Nah, I feel some type of way. You are joking. Yes, my girl is back. No way. And you're looking hot, Mira. You're not wrong there. Mira glides over with Alfie. She's bold, breathtaking, and brimming with confidence. What's going on? I thought I was as confused as you are. Trust me. But after Mira left last time, I never expected to see her again. Me neither. Especially not in a sunny Mediterranean gaff, you know? And when I walked into Casa Amor and saw her sitting there, the look on your face, Elf, I just got that feeling like I'd been given a second chance or something. And then the more time we spent together, the more it just felt right. I hope you don't mind me saying this, Mira, but it was like meeting a whole new you. A new Mira, huh? What was wrong with the old Mira? Don't get me wrong, I love the old Mira. But this new Mira, she's fiery and hilarious. She literally has me in non-stop stitches. Well, that's not hard. You find everything hilarious. Nah, but you know what I mean. Like the other night when you stacked everything in the fridge on Eddie while he was sleeping. You did what? All right, you big sop, we get it. Now let the lady speak. Look, I'm just happy to be back. I thought it was over, but clearly the universe had other plans for us. Getting to know Alfie has been amazing. I certainly hope so. Cheeky, I hope that's okay with you lot, because either way, I'm not going anywhere. Someone is super confident now. Yes, ma'am, whatever you say. Welcome back, Super Mira. Missed you, girl, no matter who you are. Another awkward silence as the Islanders turn to you. You don't have a problem with new Mira sticking around, do you, Jasmine? Not at all. Not at all. Glad to have you back. The longer the better. Good, wouldn't want to get off on the wrong foot again. Well, I'm glad that's all over and done with anyway. Now we can all move on. Um, hello, I still need to pick. Oh right, sorry cat. Rude. Right, these last few days have been the toughest I've had in the villa. And though some have tried to tempt me away and lead me off the path. Like who? Shh, this is my bit. We all know that before Casa, a load of drama kicked off. Me and Finn both kissed people we shouldn't have. I know that Finn regrets kissing Arlo. 
You think? I know. But you live and learn, and I've learned a lot here. I know that there is only one fella in here for me. So I'm sticking with my fin. The fire pit remains silent. Cat looks around for a reaction. Why is no one gasping? You have to be surprised to gasp. We all knew you were sticking with Finn. Cat rolls her eyes. Suddenly footsteps echo from the villa entrance. It's Finn and he's alone too. Cat jumps up and down with excitement and runs into Finn's arms. Aw, oh, babe, I missed you so much. Wait, some random girl ain't about to come out, are they? No way, it's just you and me. Cat squeezes Finn tight, he waves to the others. Well, I guess now that's it. Phew. Not quite, I've got a text. Eddie and Johnny, as you both remain single after the recoupling, your time in the Love Island Villa has come to an end. Please pack your things and say your goodbyes. Hashtag double dump, hashtag end of the road. I didn't think it would end so soon, but I'm just glad I got a chance to meet you guys. This is actually a joke. I don't deserve this. Sorry, guys. Wish it didn't have to go down like that. The Islanders approach the dumped boys, embracing each of them. I am sorry, Eddie. I had to do what's right for me. I never wanted to hurt you. Nothing new there then, just Dana looking out for herself. What's that supposed to mean? After everything I've done for you in here, you do me like this? Unbelievable. In the midst of the drama, you spot tense eye contact between Suresh and Gabby. You catch Suresh's eye and he pretends to focus on Eddie's hissy fit. Come on, mate, let's leave a good Come on, mate, let's leave on a good note, yeah? Yeah, that's easy for you to say, isn't it? You all go about doing what you want, no caring. You all go about doing what you want, not caring who it affects. Guess nice guys really do come last. Good luck with her, Gabby, you'll need it. Hey, not okay. Cool it, Eddie. You need to take a deep breath. Come on, we will help you pack. Yeah, Eddie, chill. Save all this charm for the air hostess on the way home. Come on, guys. Let's give the girls some space. Let things settle a bit. The guys group together and lead the unlucky boys inside. Well, that went well. Don't let him get to you. He's had his own way his whole life. Doesn't know what it feels like not to. Lulu goes to say something but stops herself. She seems nervous around Dana and Gabby. There is an obvious tension between you all as no one knows quite what to say. Well, let's not stand around moping. One door closes and another opens. Mira looks around at the girls until her gaze lands on you. Looks like we have a lot of catching up to do, Jasmine. Let's talk. You and the girls assemble around the pool for a debrief. Everyone is still recovering from the shockwaves of stick or twist. Why are you lot being all weird and quiet? We have a new girl here, come on. Welcome, Lulu. Yeah, it's so nice to meet you. Aw, oh, thanks guys. I'm so excited to be in the real villa, even if it's a tad st Aw, oh, thanks guys. I'm so excited to be in the real villa, even if it's a tad tense. I was really nervous coming in, to be honest. Yeah, talk about jumping in the deep end. Don't worry, it'll pass. I was super nervous coming in. We all were. Except Jasmine Oggs. She was dripping with confidence. But we can't all be like Jasmine. So, tell us about yourself, Lulu. Well, I'm pretty chill most of the time. That was a pretty dramatic entrance. I said most of the time, not always. I love your style, Lulu. Cheers, Arlo. What do you do, Lulu? I run my own knitwear design company in Britain. Wow, that's cool. We'll be picking your brain for fashion tips. I'm here for all you girls. Good to hear, babe. Always good to meet a new girl. Well, I guess I'm not exactly new. Sorry to disappoint. 
I knew we would be reunited. Can't keep us bombshells away from each other. What can I say? You can't get rid of me that easy. Ah, uh, I'll allow it. She's an oldie, but a goodie. Oi, who you call an oldie? So, how we feeling about our new couples? Yeah, that was quite the shakeup, except for the Bonnie and Clyde of Basildon, of course. Eyes turned to Cat, who was a million miles away. Earth calling Cat, you are right there? Huh? Sorry, just got carried away. Thinking about sharing a bed with Finn again? How did you know? Here we go, Melty Cat's back. Relieved Finn came back alone then? Nah, I knew he wouldn't dare bring anyone else back. What we have is way more than any Casa Amor fling. No offense, girls. None taken. Think this is it now, girls. Never thought I'd say it, but I think I might be settling down. Blasphemy. I never thought I'd see the day, but I'm happy for you two. You've come a long way. Yeah, me and Finn to the end. I mean, we are the most stable couple. Think we defo have a real shot of going the distance. You know, Kat and Finn remind me of um, Davide and Ekinsu. If you watch the Love Island UK show, um, Davide and Ekinsu, Kat and Finn kind of remind me of them too. <laughs> and you're so humble. Yeah, well, not if me and Pete have anything to say about it. Happy with your man swap then? 100%. I mean, Pete's not my usual type on paper, but there's just this edge to him. It just feels like raw attraction and that body, you know. Thoughts on Suresh? Don't get me wrong, Suresh had the bark. But it feels like Pete has the bite to back it up. Oh, should I be worried about Suresh? Yes, you should. I warned you already. I remember. Oh no, don't you worry. Gabby realizes she has put her foot in it. She glances at you and goes quiet. The tension starts to sneak back in until Mira perks up. Well, I for one am over the moon. I never thought I would get another chance. And it feels like me and Alfie were made for each other. We just have so much in common, it's unreal. You two do seem like a good match. They just look like a couple, if you know what I mean. Yeah. They do. Yeah, to be fair, you two do look right for each other. Aw, thanks Jasmine, that means a lot from you. Not that I need your blessing or anything. Well, all I know is that Alfie is a true gem. He's kind and thoughtful and I couldn't be happier. Aw, uh, I know what you mean. I have the same thing with Suresh. Huh? Suresh? Really? Kind and thoughtful? Are we talking about the same fella? To be fair, he seems to have changed his tune since last time I was here. He just seemed more genuine. Yeah, he was so sweet and caring in Casa Amor. He really looked out for me. Wasn't long before we connected. I know that feeling. Wait, sweet and caring? Now that really doesn't sound like Suresh. Oh, isn't he like that with you guys? No, he isn't. I wouldn't call Suresh sweet and caring, no. So I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, I see. I don't know, I think Suresh has his moments. Gabby pauses again. You sense tense flicks of eye contact between the other girls. What do you mean by moments? I don't know, I just always thought he was a really sweet guy too. Uh-oh, does Lulu have competition? Yeah, should I be worried, Gabby? You sound pretty smitten yourself. What? No, I was just saying. Well, maybe don't right now, yeah? Oh, okay, what's gotten into you? Nothing. Suddenly you hear footsteps behind you. Ladies! Finn approaches with a happy-go-lucky swagger before he senses the heated vibe. Oh, bad time? Apparently for some. You okay, babes? All right, just wanted to let you be yours know that the guys are all packed up. They'll be leaving soon if you wanted to come say your farewells. 
Oh, thanks, Finn. Come on, gals. I'm sure Eddie has a speech prepared for us. Oh, yay. Can't wait. Brace yourselves. You all stand up and begin to head inside when Dana catches your eye. Um, actually, Jasmine, I wondered if I could talk to you quickly, in private. Guess I'll leave you two to it. Gabby looks back at you for a moment before heading inside. Everything's been so crazy these last few days. It feels like we haven't had a proper chance to chat. It's been full on, hasn't it? My head's just a bit of a mess and you're always so good with advice and stuff. I just really need a friend right now and to get everything off my chest. I feel like you're the only person I can talk to and really be myself. Let's go to the beanbags, follow me. Dana leads you over to the beanbags, looking around to make sure you are alone. She clumsily leaps onto one and pulls another bag close to her, gesturing for you to sit. Let's dive into it, eh? Graceful. You take a seat on the beanbag opposite. Thanks for hanging back with me, just really needed someone to talk to. And you've always been the best listener. That's okay, what's up? Well, since me and Gabby got together, everything has been moving so fast. Feel like I haven't had a second to think. And me and Gabby have had an amazing time getting to know each other and all that. Don't get me wrong, I just wished I was able to talk to you more too. I really value your opinion. Feels like you know me better than I do sometimes. I guess I just wanted to know, do you think me and Gabby make a good match? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think so. I really don't. No, I don't think so. I'm not sure you two suit each other. Oh, right. Straight to the point with the sprinkling of brutality. I like it. I was really hoping you wouldn't say that, but I kind of saw it coming. I appreciate the honesty. You're a good friend. I do need to get to know her better. But between you and me, I keep getting these little moments of jealousy. It's so unlike me. What have you got to be jealous about? Well, it's just, now that Suresh is back and Gabby still seems so gushy about him, and I don't have to tell you their history. Just worry she's gonna jump into his arms whenever she gets the chance. There was just loads of baggage there to deal with and with so many people. There is a lot of baggage flying around. But what's pranging me out the most is how it could affect our friendship. What do you mean? Well, you mean the world to me. I want you to know that. Dana looks at you sadly. I know that this Suresh and Gabby history is a lot for you to deal with. I'm just worried that now I'm with Gabby and you're with Nicholas, we will drift apart. And I don't want that, do you? No, I don't want to drift apart. I wouldn't want to lose what we have. Okay, good. I'm glad you feel the same way, Jasmine. Well, I'm glad I got that off my chest anyway. Fingers crossed everything with those two calms down. Was tearing, was tearing my hair out worrying about him coming back. Never expected Suresh 2.0 with all new empathy chip. Can't believe everyone is calling him sweet. You think it's for real? Time will tell. Not that you have to worry about any of that now you're with Nicholas. I think he's just what the doctor ordered for you, you know? You think so? Let's just say my doc prescribed hunky Latinos, I wouldn't be eating an apple a day. Oi, if you two are done gossiping, you might want to come and say bye to me. You turn and see Eddie shouting from the doorway. Whoops, come in, mate. Thanks for this, though, Jasmine. I'm glad we did this. Mate, haven't you friendzoned me enough? Dana turns to you. I meant it when I said I really value your opinion. Only one I bloody trust in this place. Well, we better go face the music. Yeah, I'm sure Eddie has a heartfelt goodbye waiting for me. You and Dana run out to the entrance to say your farewells. The dumped boys have their bags packed, ready to leave the villa. I don't care what you lot say, I'm not taking this sitting down. This won't be the last you see of Edward Archibald Harris. That's your full name? Yes, what's wrong with it? Nothing, it's a beautiful name. Look, do you realize I'm the only actual proper gent in this villa? I bet you only wanted me out because I know all your dirty little secrets. 
Jasmine had to be nudged to even say goodbye. I was just having a chat, Eddie. It's fine, Eddie. They're here now. That's all that matters. Maybe to you, but I'm an OG and deserve a bit better. If you girls knew what you were missing, you wouldn't be treating me this way. I'll have you all know I do very, very well in the outside world. Right. Well, I don't want to ramble on, but... I just wanted to say that getting to know you guys has been one of the best experiences of my life. Wish I got to get to know you fellas better. But there's plenty of time for that on the outside. You're all beautiful people, and even though I'm heading home, I feel like I won just by being here. Thanks, Johnny. That's sweet. So thanks. You can see Johnny well up a bit, but he holds back the tears. Aw, oh, mate, you just broke my little cockney heart. Is it too late to twist? Bagsy Johnny. Hey. Ditto, Alfie, Johnny, Thrupple. You boys are pushing your luck. Maybe next time, hey lads. Johnny hugs each of the islanders one by one until he gets to you. Goodbye, Jasmine. You were always my favorite, by the way. Rude. Eddie pulls you to one side. He whispers in your ear conspiratorially. Jasmine, you're the only one here that has been good to me. It's time I return the favor. I saw things in Casa Amor. There was tea unspilt, but I know the truth. Are you all right, Eddie? You're not making much sense. You need to know what's really going on. You don't have all the facts. Alfie, Finn, Suresh, even Dana. They're all hiding secrets from you, big ones. Look, I don't have much time, but if you come with me to the terrace, I will tell you as much as I can. Trust me, you want to know. You see what I mean? Eddie is always trying to have these little side chats. And every time I entertain it, it's always not worth it. But I am curious to see what secrets he's talking about. Be real honest. So I guess we're going to find out. Okay, tell me more. Spill that tea. Follow me. Eddie darts up the stairs toward the terrace. You follow close behind. You reach the terrace moments after Eddie. He is tucked away in the corner. Be quick, we're running out of time. You approach and sit beside him. Okay, I only have time to reveal the secrets of one islander. So, who will it be? I'll pick Alfie. Okay, I want to know about Alfie. Alright, here's the tea. So, we were in Casa Amor and I was having a nightmarish time. All the new girls were trying to pull me for chats, and more, no doubt. I see. It was honestly too much. They practically formed a queue. So, I had to get out of there. I snuck away, and who do I find? It's only Alfie and Finn having a secret chat. So what? It could have been about anything. Well, here's where it gets interesting. I sneak up to the balcony for the bird's eye view. I couldn't hear much except for Jasmine, engagement ring. The big question and baggage. What does that mean? Well, I'm no expert, but that spells out a proposal to me. Oh wait, could it be my ring from excess baggage? Whatever it means, the man seemed pretty seriously conflicted. I see. But when I asked them about it later on, they refused to tell me. So it must be proper hush-hush. And they said I could not tell Mira what I'd seen. I guess what I'm trying to say is, he's still into you, Jasmine. From downstairs, you can hear a commotion. Eddie, where are you? We have to go. Damn, guess my time's up. Use this information wisely. I think you have a real chance of winning this. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie stands up and nods at you. Goodbye, Jasmine. See you on the other side. Bye, Eddie. The two of you head downstairs. Downstairs, the Islanders are still standing around the entrance. They wave off Johnny and turn back to see you and Eddie. Where have you two been? Yeah, we thought you were going to try and hide in a cupboard or something. Ha ha, very funny. The Islanders start to approach Eddie slowly. What are you doing? Everybody piles in for a massive group hug. Eddie tries to resist to no avail. 
We'll miss you, geezer. Yeah, even if you don't miss us. Thanks, guys. I guess I'll miss you, too. Eddie drags his suitcase behind him and steps out into the night. What a day. I know, that was intense. It really was. Don't know about you lot, but my bed is crying out for me. You can say that again, especially with our new bed partners. In fact, I'm heading to the dressing room. Gotta be looking our best, don't we girls? You spot flirty looks between Mira and Alfie. Then you catch Alfie's eye. He looks away bashfully. You think about what Eddie said. Is it time to put in the graft yourself? You and the other islanders make your way upstairs to prepare for the new sleeping arrangements. The girls join you in the dressing room to get ready for your first night in your new couples. Ah, I'm so excited to be back in here. Never thought I'd see these beds again, let alone get to share one with Alfie. Hopefully this time I get some proper use out of it. Well, 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 lucky Alfie. We've got all new couples, need to mark the occasion. What are you thinking, Jasmine? Something to make Alfie regret twisting? I see how it is, a bit of competition, is it? It's on. Shouldn't Jasmine be trying to blow Naughty Nick's mind, not Alfie's? She can do both. Cat rummages through your wardrobe. Look, this will get everyone's attention. This is pretty. Oh wow, you were being serious about that competition then. I don't even have enough gems, guys. I'm gonna see what else they got. I mean, regardless, I don't have enough gems. So I feel like I'm gonna have to pick an old outfit. One of one that Alfie hasn't seen me in yet. I don't think Alfie seen me in this red one, did he? I don't remember. I don't remember if he did or not. I don't know, but I think I might just put this red number back on. I'm gonna be real honest. I think I'll go with this. Yeah, maybe you're right. You look great in that too. Yeah, let the games begin. Right, that's enough chit chat. Bed. Yes, please. The girls rush into the bedroom. The new couples rush to their beds and jump in. Night, everyone. Don't have too much fun. Not making any promises. Naughty. As you get tucked up in bed, you watch as Lulu and Suresh jump into the bed beside you, giggling and fooling around. You turn away from them only to see Mira and Alfie getting very comfortable in the other neighboring bed. You turn and look at the empty space in the bed next to you where Alfie used to be. When suddenly Nicholas comes flying through the air towards you, landing in the space beside you with a beaming grin. What are you looking at? Nicholas looks either side of you and realizes who you are surrounded by. Oh, fun. Seems like we are stuck in a bit of an X sandwich here. Seems that way. Is it too awkward for you? Are you kidding? Just means I get to rub it in their faces. Rub what in their faces? That I get to be with the hottest girl in the villa? And they all blew it. To be honest, Jasmine, after getting to know you, when it came to stick or twist, I had already come to terms with leaving. Because if it wasn't you who picked me to stay, then I would rather go. Really? You were the only one for me, so I feel like the luckiest guy here. So now, nah, I don't find it awkward to have them around us. Because they clearly don't know what they're missing. Does it bother you having your exes around us? No, it doesn't. Nah, I don't care. The past is the past. It's all history. Exactly. There's no future in history. I'm ready to move on. Well, maybe I can help you with that. Why should we let them have all the fun? It's just you and me in this bed at this moment and no one else matters. Plus, a little drama never hurt anyone, right? Let's give them something to really talk about, cause a stir. Nicholas edges closer to you until your faces are inches from each other. 
He takes your hand in his and looks deep into your eyes. So, wanna get a little closer? Let's kiss him. You read my mind. As you start to lean in, Nicholas' gaze falls to your lips. He pulls you in close. With his forefinger, he raises your chin until your lips meet his. Lost in the passionate kiss, everything around you slips away. You are totally in the moment. See, we can have our own fun. It's just me and you here. No one else matters. As you close your eyes and let your thoughts subside, you hear something. Jasmine, we need to chat. Now. You look up to see Gabby looming over you. Suresh is stood beside her, clearly flustered, having been dragged out of bed. It's time we need to talk about the past, about everything. It can't wait any longer. Why would you want to talk now when everybody's about to go to sleep? Why couldn't you wait till the morning? Looks like we have a good old fashioned tea stirring contest on our hands, folks. How much innocent tea will be spilled as Gabby, Suresh, and Jasmine stew over their hidden past? Will there be tears or will they leaf? Or will they leaf the past in the past? Find out next time on Love Island. All right, so that was episode 30, another lengthy video. <laughs> so I chose to recouple with Nicholas. For a second, I thought Alfie was alone until Mira stride back in. So yes, it still was a spoiler, a very shocking, shocking revelation because I was not expecting that. I don't think anybody was. Um, yeah, and then Eddie and Johnny got dumped. Kat obviously stayed with Finn. We all knew that. Finn came back alone. So yeah, Eddie and Johnny left. Eddie was super sour about it. And of course, he had to pull us for a chat before he left. And talking about secrets, I chose to find out Alfie's secret. The secret didn't really make no sense, I'm going to be real honest. Yeah, then we went off to bed. I had a kiss with Nicholas. And then obviously, we were left with Gabby and Suresh coming to bother us to talk about a chat. One that I feel we could have waited until the next morning. So, yeah. That was a Love Island the Game 2, X in the Villa, episode 30. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you guys again for participating in the mini giveaway. Hope to do many more. And congrats to the winners. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later.